I am uh, Dr. Varinder Singh Bedi. I am uh, Chairman, uh, Department of uh, uh, Vascular and Endovascular Surgery. That's Institute of Vascular and uh, Endovascular Sciences. That's uh, Gangaram Hospital, New Delhi. So the major challenge in India today is that India happens to be the diabetic capital of the world. If you know right now, there are almost about 60 million diabetics in the, in the country, which is a huge, humongous population out there. When you look at them, 15% of these patients are there, which we call foot at risk. 15% of these 60 million population can have a small, you know, stone hitting their feet or something of the sort causing trauma, after which that can fulminate, it can form bad ulcers, and eventually either the patient may lose a leg. So 6% of those patients, in fact, when you look at those 15%, are likely to lose their leg because of diabetes. So when you look at those kind of complications, you can imagine the amount of amputations. Every day, a few thousand amputations happen. And these amputations are all preventable. And this is basically just because, one, we are not diagnosing the problem early. We have 50-50% of rural diabetics and urban diabetics whom we are not detecting. And as you know, in India, a lot of people used to walk barefoot. These patients, because they have no sensitivity in their feet, in fact, you can you know, hammer a nail into their feet and all, they will not feel a thing. So imagine walking on barefoot on the road or something and a small nail also hits them. There's a wound which happens because they have no pain. The wound gets inflamed. You don't realize because you got no pain, you will not get any fever and all. And by the time these patients land up in hospital, they're already in bad shape. Either they're in what we call florid sepsis, where there's a bad infection which has gone all through the body and that is life-threatening, or it is a limb-threatening. So today, that is the major challenge and what we are trying to do is basically improve the awareness of people and all. And probably what we look at is as the healthcare system improves in the country, you are going to see these patients a little early so that at least you can treat and save needless limbs and lives. So what matters is basically that when you are looking at the wounds and all, there are two aspects of the wound. One is you have to manage the systemic aspect. That means let's say the patient has got diabetes he's got kidney problem or he's got other atherosclerotic problem, you want to fix that. But you can do a wonderful procedure. But if you don't look at the wound and you don't treat the wound properly, it is going to be a failure. So management of the wounds is probably very, very, it's equally important, if not more than the primary intervention which has been done for treating the disease. So newer wound care products, there are some good products which are coming up in the market, which can basically, you know, take care of all the dead uh, tissues or dead cells which are forming or pus which is forming out there and make the bed healthier. Once the bed becomes healthier, along with a combination of antibiotics and treating the basic disease, the wound will improve. But if the one doesn't focus on these newer, uh, on these uh, wounds and all that, then in that case, the problem of basically the patient again going into a tailspin and nothing really works in that one. So the newer wound products are basically providing us that kind of a matrix where you can basically apply them in infected situations, discharging situations and all that, and get rid of all the muck which is coming out there, clean the wound and provide a healthy bed.